one of the oldest Hispanic communities in all of the San Diego and California. And the roots here are very, very deep. And what that does is it creates generations of artists, generations of musicians, generations of culture built up one layer at a time. And it's a really special place. And I think that's what's bringing people back down here is they want a reason and an opportunity to experience that. here uh, as part of this art show until our last breath, uh, taking a stance on uh, the uh, ongoing issue around the community plan and propositions B and C, which are now on the ballot, which attempts to take the decision making out of Barrio Logan's hands. What we're trying to do is through our art and our activism is, is just bring clean air, you know, a, a basic right, you know, to, to the people who live here, the families. From the very beginning, Chicano art has been committed to being at the service of the community with the utmost in individual creativity. And this is a perfect example of it more than uh, 40, 40 years after A Plan Espiritual de Aslan called on artists to be of community service. So I think it's wonderful. I think that things are changing, but at the same time, I think there are a number of artists, you included, that continue to maintain that spirit that set the whole movement in motion. Curse words and gestures like that have a place in language. You know, they, they, every, they have legitimate, it's a legitimate expression when appropriate, never to be used loosely. But when I think about a situation where uh, a certain element of, of our local industry is pouring millions and millions of dollars into a campaign of deceit, of lies, of misrepresentation in order to justify poisoning my child, our children in this community. To me, I say, fuck that. You know, no way. No way can that happen. We, we have to stand. It's our duty as citizens, it's our duty as people who believe in communities like Barrio Logan to try to stand up and say this isn't right. What they're trying to do in buying this election should not be allowed. The people's voice must be heard and so on Tuesday we need the people's voice to be heard. It is going to be really, really, really challenging. They have commercials, they're on TV, they're sending mail pieces uh, to people's mails, lying, saying things that are completely untrue. And unfortunately, because we don't have the money that they do, it's incumbent upon us, it is our duty to get that message out to everybody. So I ask that you use the power of your circles of friends, your networks, social media to get the word out. This is gonna be so, so important. And if we, if we are not able to be successful, uh, then the corporate interest, the moneyed interest, and the lack and the disrespect and the lack of respect and the lack of care, caring about this community will continue. The plan will allow for this community to grow and develop and change in a way that we respect the culture that is here, we respect the families that are here, but also we can prosper as a community. If the plan fails, what we've seen in Barrio Logan in the past, which has been a dumping ground, a place where unfortunately, you know, I grew up here. I walk these streets and I still do. I live right on the other side of the freeway. So I know what this is about. I know what it means to the families. I know what it means for each and every one of us. And really right now, this is about we're calling for you to help us.